Honestly, this looks like a patch of mud on my face right now. There is some peeling on my brush. Hi guys, I'm Ritu. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have filmed a chatty get ready with me using some new products that I've gotten over the past two months and I created this look using those products. It is almost a full face of makeup, uh, just missing a few things here and there. It is a first impressions kind of a video. I hope you guys uh, like watching that video and if you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I haven't touched, used or applied any makeup for the past two months and I've uh, been ordering quite a lot. So I thought I'd do a makeup try on haul. This is all the makeup I have. I ordered some of it off Instagram and I also ordered some of these new things in the Nykaa Pink Summer Haul. I'm going to start with eyes and I'm going to be using this Minka palette. It is so amazing. I also have this Urban Decay Moondust eyeshadow in the shade Lithium. So this is the look that I will try to achieve with this palette. And then with my P. Louise I think that on and then I'm going to take it a bit higher and have the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer in the shade 35 035 Julia Adams was raving about it it was her favorite concealer but I had too many concealers at that time I still do but uh, I got this in the Nykaa sale and I think I got a quite a decent discount on this it is um, the perfect match for my skin. It's not a brightening shade for me. I'm just going to... Okay, that's a lot. I'm just going to put down this much. I have dragged it down slightly and then I'm just tapping it in. It feels a bit thicker than the uh, Huda Beauty concealer. It is actually looking very dry underneath my eyes. Maybe my dry under eyes are dry right now because I have not been the best with my skincare. Uh, so I'm just going to continue and we'll see later if it's looking too shabby. It does have quite a bit of coverage. My blueness has been covered. So I'm going in with this Maybelline uh, Eye Smoky Tattoo Studio Gel Liner. We're just mapping out a wing. of two shades this is linda it is a beautiful multi-chrome this is eva this is a gunmetal emma this is a gold it is a uh, i think i'm going to go in with emma on the inner corner and eva on the outside and go in with my finger next these are very soft they feel very soft to touch almost gel like yes the finish is much more vibrant with the finger i'm going to put it outside see this is what i was saying it's very glitter like it's better to 
tap them out then to drag them going to feather it out with a brush a bit uh, there is a chance that they might crease because I am wearing the P. Louise eyeshadow base and that uh, makes the eyeshadow crease on me but going on to the base i don't have any new foundation so i'm just going to go in with this dior face and body i have a new foundation brush i have this brush by rose and ben beauty this is the c42 and i also have the new uh not new but uh, the face version of the morphe and ariel brush set i'm more excited to use this brush because like uh if you follow Rose, all of you see her do her amazing makeup with her brushes and I always want, like I was always curious about like how these brushes perform and if they are worth the hype. So I have one. I wanted the C41 but this was the only one I could get. I'm just going to spread the foundation. I've not applied any primer. Just going to spread the foundation. The brush should have just should have used the brush for this, but yeah, I'm using this because I feel this is going to be a good match for me right now. Going in with this, feels very soft on the face, and it's a dense but fluffy brush. Uh, when I was shocked to see that these brushes have been made by Anisa Beauty. Anisa Beauty is a brand which Rose has worked quite a lot with. But I thought that these were her independent brushes. But these have been manufactured by Anisa Be uh, Beauty. There is some peeling on my brush. Now I don't know if that's happening because... My skin has been very dry lately or the brush is dirty or the foundation and my sunscreen are not working. Usually this foundation looks very glowy on me and looks very smooth but I think my skin has been very dry lately and so it's looking a bit flaky which has never happened to me. I'll show you closely how it's looking. Going back in with this Lancome uh, Tint Idol Ultra Wear. Feeling quite dry under my eyes. Maybe I should have prepped more. But I did put on a very hydrating routine in my skincare. But I guess my skin is just too dry. Uh, so I'm just going to put it under my eyes. It's very thick and the applicator takes... Uh, picks up quite a bit going to put it here slightly here here my rare beauty concealer brush just going to tap that in somehow like all the raving about it made me think that it was something amazing that I was missing out on and so far I think I like my Huda Beauty concealer better I think that it has concealed quite nicely under my eyes. I don't see any blueness coming across at all. It just looks a bit drying under my eyes and it's already settling into my creases. First, I have some uh, new bronzers and blushes to try. The Rare Beauty Good Energy Bronzer in Rare Beauty Warm Wishes Stick Bronzer in the shade Good Energy. This is one of the newer shades that they've launched. I wanted to try this but the earlier shades were just too warm and I don't like something uh, very red or very warm to contour, to bronze my face. Uh, comparison swatches with... Um, the bronzers that I have are supposed to be very smooth which is why I wanted to try this out M Cosmetics Terra with Fenty Amber which is even grayer contour wand in fair to medium again slightly gray this is still very warm Huda Beauty Tantor in light even this looks slightly less warm and this 
translates very warm on my face so i think this is going to look extremely warm on me uh, so this is supposed to be a very smooth formula and it's supposed to blend out like into nothing might not blend as smoothly since my skin is so dry right now mm -hmm. Pillow is the cheek of it uh, liquid blush in oh so spice and I have the rare beauty uh, like one of the two new shades of worth uh, this is the pillow is uh, oh so spice and this is the rare beauty um, worth very nice neutral everyday pinks to me press really hard for them to come out oh. it is blending very nicely but I think I've put on a lot but I already have this Patricrat uh, Labs Sublime Skin Fetish Blurring Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder I already have the shade medium too dark for my under eyes so I thought light should work hopefully this I got from Nykaa in their Pink Friday sale a pink summer sale but like uh, when I opened the product it looked a bit used it looked like it had uh, it had already been swatched so yeah that's a bit worrying I'm taking it on a puff and slightly blending the powder out this is so much better the medium one would really darken my eyes and I already really like the powder it's very finely milled and very blurring and it's looking really great under the eyes too no this is supposed to be only an under eye powder but it's so blurring that I like to use it all over my face tower 28 make waves mascara this is the shade jet this is supposed to be very lengthening and separating it is not waterproof the bristles on the wand are quite short it looks like a plastic wand like the essence mascaras also have the wands uh, the wands are plastic let's see you're supposed to use this side to create separation so i'm just going to go in with this good but i think the formula has dried out a lot it's not very lengthening and my lashes are very long right now so far I'm not very impressed uh, lastly moving on to the lips I have quite a few options for lips I have the Fenty viral the Fenty icon lipstick in the shade HBIC02 I don't have MVP uh, I have the Rare Beauty Lip Oils I have Serenity and Delight I have worn them both once and then I have the Dior Lip Maximizer in the shade Rose Nude this is Delight, this is Serenity this is the Dior Rose Nude this is very light these two shades look very pigmented but since I have pigmented lips Delight is like if I put it without makeup this is like my lips but better this 
like it looks like gloss i just put on clear gloss it disappears on my lips this is cinnabar looks quite close to it leans a bit more burnt and brick then i have a lime crime new americana which is a bright red and uh, this is ruby who looks almost neon here but it's not neon so fenty one is also brown in it and is slightly deeper and not as bright so this is serenity this is my lips but better this looks really nice with this look i would say since i'm wearing makeup this is not washing me out as much but it looks really nice it is like one of those shades that you wear without any makeup and it just lights up your face this is the finished look i really like the eyeshadow but i always knew i was going to like it i just been waiting too long to get my hands on it uh, i went in with uh, my mac chestnut lip liner and tower 28 uh, almond no cashew as for the concealer i really like it uh, around the face where i've used it more than under my eyes but since i've powdered it it is looking a bit okay it's not looking as i don't know as dry as it was looking before these days i have not been liking a very blush heavy look i want my blush to be extremely subtle so that's not on the blush that's on my application i have this skin patch your dryness no matter what i do no foundation wants to cover it the foundation is looking better than before it has some time to gel uh, with my skin it's looking slightly better but i think the problem was brush and my skin both the brush i don't know why this brush is lifting so much product off my face uh maybe i'm just going to give it another wash and try it and uh, like try to use it more and see how i feel about it it was just today was just first impressions i really like the powder the mascara uh, as i look into the mirror it is visible but i think my uh i prefer my essence i love crazy volume i love extreme crazy volume but sadly this is so difficult to find these days why do i feel that the bronzer has faded off my face i did uh, put some foundation on top of it to remove that matte patch but uh, i had a bit on my forehead it, it's not looking very bronzed right now but honestly i didn't like the formula and uh, since i had heard that uh, a lot of i had heard a lot of people compare it with the m cosmetics uh, contour bronze so soft sculpt stick I really like that formula is way better it's more emollient it's so easy to blend and it does not stick on your face I don't like products which stick on my face I haven't had a bronzer stick on my face in so long I don't remember how to blend such things uh, so yeah I really didn't like it but again what if my face was too dry and that's what caused it to stick on my face so i'm going to keep trying it i'm not uh, going to write it off yet but honestly first impressions were not so good i guess that's it for today i hope you enjoyed this different kind of a video i have a feeling that the audio is going to be off in some parts that's it for today i hope you guys have a really good day wherever you are bye Yeah.